understanding the finance portions of it, understanding the marketing portions of it. Eventually, you have to fill in those gaps. Uh, there are various ways to fill in those gaps, either by gaining experience in those areas, by getting co-founders which have experience in the areas that you don't have. Uh, and eventually, as every successful business, it needs uh, people who are filling in these three gaps. So, whatever works best for you, figure that uh, way out and move ahead. We had spent around a year uh, working on this service. So then my parents started getting concerned. Yeah, they, they don't understand internet businesses. They don't understand anything about what I'm doing. So they they started becoming very very clear. It's been one year. There is no revenue. He's sitting at home on his laptop. We don't know what he is doing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what's going on over here? So then I basically invited them to come over here. Uh, they came over here, spent a week, uh, which they normally anyway do once a year, but at that point in time, that was uh, a very important uh, activity. <laughs> and uh, then I tried to explain them what uh, was going on and showed them the service so and gave them the details of the current status in terms of how we are moving forward. So that uh, kind of helped them understand uh, or get, get at the same level as uh, where we were thinking. Uh, one of the things about technologists is that if you don't see technical progress, you tend to be like a, <laughs> you tend to not be very happy about it. So, so that is one uh, kind of a situation where uh, it is very very easy to get into a state where you are spending way too much time and focus on getting funding versus on taking the product forward. So after that one month where we made that uh, mistake, we quickly got some advice from our mentors. Uh, so one of our mentors has been uh, Bharat Chenna Mantra. He's uh, uh, been my manager in Trilogy. Now he's basically head of uh, Amazon Chennai. So he's been very instrumental in guiding us in these uh, tough areas. Because when we felt low, I would basically call him up and tell him that this is the situation and this is what's going on and he would be able to bring a third party independent perspective to it and uh, say that yeah, you have to balance both the things and uh, there is no substitute for uh, that. You are closing a business down because you understand the scenario very well and you exactly know why it is going to fail and why spending no matter how much time you spend it's not going to succeed. Then you always leave with the feeling of satisfaction that oh, I have taken the right decision, I am not wasting my time over here anymore and I have learned a lot of things from the time I started till today. So you go ahead and go out with a, you go out very very satisfied. But if you close it down uh, one and a half years uh, into it and because uh, uh, you don't, suddenly you don't feel like doing it anymore or suddenly you are like yeah, enough hardships now. I've had enough of the hardships. Now I don't want to deal with these kinds of situations anymore. I just want to go back to my job. Then obviously you cannot leave uh, it uh, with a sense of satisfaction. There is no way you can be satisfied because the thing will, uh, the thing that will always keep bothering you is, they are what if I had stayed there another six months? videos and stuff like that, you know, he, he would shoot his own videos and put it up and I said, 
it would be very nice if he can come up with a place where everybody can do that. And he said that place is YouTube. So we said that we don't think that place is YouTube because uh, YouTube is a not about music and B YouTube is not so much about the community. And uh, the seriousness is certainly not there in YouTube. I never like you know thought of writing a plan, raising some capital because it always looked like you know the time it would take to raise some capital and go out and write a plan, we would have probably built much more and you know, grown much more. At least uh, you know for a long time we kept thinking like that. So, challenges are kind of perennial. I would say it's an ongoing thing. One is how do you market your service? We don't have marketing budget as such. How do you market your service? And another thing is how do you monetize the web? Web to dollar Even before that, right, I mean we face this challenge of uh, conventionally not many people from from India go onto the web to ask questions, to reply to questions. Oh yeah, that was so one big <laughs> challenge. I mean uh, the typical uh, attitude among uh, people, at least you know, from what we know. People ask questions, want answers, but they never really go that extra mile to answer somebody else's question. So with what we run, things can't go that way. If you want to come in for what you have done, you should go that extra mile to listen to others, you know, creations and give your feedbacks and comments. So it took some time for us to bring in that culture of you give and take and to the point that with new people joining, the old ones who already had that culture would rub it off and people were joining you. So right now it's pretty infectious. You go in there, you know you listen to somebody else's, you contribute and people contribute to your improvement. So we also try to realign the, like, uh, realign the service to convey this message more clearly. So again, I, when you said that uh, do we believe totally in technology and not the really MBA way, we actually believe that uh, technology and your business needs should go hand in hand. In the sense that um, you shouldn't be doing a startup just to do technology, just to build cool technology. You should be doing a startup to you know drive your value proposition. So in our case, it was the community offering. So in fact, we have gone through two major iterations of how we want to portray the community element. One thing is like everybody we told we monetize this we said that you know in India nobody is going to pay for web. If you say it's all intangible right, you don't get anything in front of it. Right? The first thing everybody asks us is so how many of them are Indians who have bought and then we go ahead and tell them that they are all Indians. So everybody who has bought the pro account is an Indian so they say oh wow. I am surprised to see yeah, that. <laughs> 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 yesterday we got an alert saying somebody upgraded to pro. He had not even hit the link and he we have a cap of 20 songs. He has not even hit the limit. He wanted it for 120 KPS free. I think to get to the really big scale where you get try to get lakhs and lakhs of users, you do need some uh, budget for the marketing. Because uh, one thing which we have observed is people who get to know about the site and who are into music come to the site and actually get hooked on. The real problem in expansion is uh, getting to that person. You know, letting him know about music group. Because uh, what we realize is word of mouth and everything works pretty well but has its own limitation. So a user can probably bring one or two more users because it's it's very specific. Yeah. But if you want to go out to lakhs and lakhs of people, you cannot actually expect your existing user base to organically grow it. So you need something marketing budget. And so that's what we are doing right now. You can always go out and do some consulting because a startup is actually a lot of learning experience and even whatever you are doing, if you are doing technology, the amount of technology that you will learn in one year of a startup is really high and there will be a lot of other companies who will be willing to pay in for that expertise. So you can always go out, make some money. So obviously we are more cautious, we don't really blow out like we used to. But it hasn't really come to a point where uh, you know, we'll be out of money in time soon. But yeah, we will be out of money maybe in a year or something if we don't make it. Sometimes you doubt the idea, sometimes you doubt yourself, sometimes you doubt the paradigm, you doubt the web. <laughs>